Man, I'm not even going to start the show out with no music or anything today. This here is some of the craziest stuff I done heard in a while. I don't know if someone is telling the truth, someone is just pulling my strings or what, but if this is true, this is crazy. I had to call my auntie up, one of the people that raised me, and I had to have a conversation with her about this. Be sure to share the video. Hey, auntie. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I um, I received an email a few days back. I know you watch my show, so you know the type of stuff that I do on my show. You know, I give advice and you know have you know intimate conversations with people and stuff like that or whatever. But I got an email the other day, and this in particular person said that they would love to come on the show, but they were afraid that people would notice their voice and stuff like that so they wrote me an email and it kind of sounds like a book like something out of a book like someone wrote it or something I, I mean I know someone wrote it but you know what I mean it sounds like something that's out of a, a novel or something okay and so I wanted to get your take on it like what do you think about it it kind of it kind of takes a twist but I want to get your take on it and, and I'm gonna read it to you and I guess to the listeners and the viewers and you give me your take on it and I guess they could you know leave their comment or or put their two cent in or, or view it how they want to view it and such but it says dear runaway I've been watching your channel and I'm loving your content I would love to do an interview on your show but I'm too ashamed I live in Georgia so people might recognize my voice I have a serious issue, and I think that it would be a good topic for your listeners and your viewers. My story is complicated, very complicated, but I'll try to explain. I'm 25 years old, I'm a black woman, and I'm single by choice. I finished school last year before the pandemic outrage, thank goodness, but currently I'm working from home. I'm a mother of one, and I'm a only child as well. Growing up for me wasn't like a normal child's childhood. This is kind of hard for me, but I'll try my best to explain. At the age of 13, I was raped by my mother's boyfriend. But that's not the kicker. The story gets deeper. Let me recreate the initial encounter. And then she goes on to say, um, it was New Year's Eve 2013. Uh, my mom was getting wasted with her boyfriend and a couple of friends. Um, as the night turned up, so did my mom. She ended up passing out before the ball could drop. I guess, you know, the New Year's thing or whatever. And um, uh, little did I know, this would be the night that would change my life forever. Um, my mom was laying on the sofa, drunk out of her mind, and her friends had left for the night. She normally doesn't get this drunk but for some reason that night she indulged deep in the liquor and she says as she laid asleep on the couch her boyfriend started to make small talk with me it felt kind of weird so i kind of went out to my room um i laid in my bed rethinking all of the fun that we had had all day and at some point i must have dozed off and then I was awakened abruptly when I felt someone climb into my bed. And she says, um, I wanted to scream, but I couldn't. I felt a finger on my lips and a voice said, shh. And I quickly realized that it was my mom's boyfriend. It didn't take me long to also realize that he was naked. My heart was beating so fast as he rubbed my breast and kept as he rubbed my breast and I didn't know what to do so I just laid there kind of stiff as a board I was a virgin so this was all new to me he took my hand and placed it on his erect penis and he told me to relax at the same time I felt his other hand ease between my legs um, he whispered in my ear that he wouldn't hurt me and I was crying like crazy I felt like I was going to pee myself. He continued exploring my body 
as he slipped my panties off and he spread my legs and I could feel his warm breath against my breast. Suddenly, I felt his tongue dancing on my private area. I wanted to scream badly, but the more he continued, the more I laxed. Before I knew it, he was inside of me. I felt a pain like I had never felt before. I thought I was gonna die, but the more he stroked, the better it felt. Once he finished, he said, I'm sorry, and he ran out. The next day, it was if nothing had ever happened between us. He couldn't look at me, and he kept trying to avoid conversation. I think he thought I was going to tell my mom what had happened, but I didn't. I actually liked it. Later that day, when I caught him by himself, I told him to make sure that he stopped by my room again later that night. He looked at me and said, no, that what he had did was a mistake. I told him if he didn't come by my room later that night, I would tell my mom what he had did. He complied and did so for the next two years. I could tell he didn't really want to do it anymore. Every time that we would have our encounters, but I told him if he didn't do it, I would tell my mom and also go to the authorities. When him and my mom would be together, I would blow kisses and wink at him behind her back. When he walked past, I would sneak a feel on his crouch. My mom didn't have a clue. When I ended up pregnant, she blamed me and said that I was just hot in the ass. I told her that I was pregnant by a boy who once lived in our neighborhood, but her boyfriend knew that he was the daddy. Now that I'm older and in my own place, it seems like I just can't keep a man because they all seem so weak. I want a man that is aggressively handling me in the bedroom. And if they're not handling me aggressively in the bedroom, I call them all kind of weak DM efforts. Do you think I need professional help? And do you think I should come clean with my mom about her boyfriend? After all, they are superb grandparents. How you feel about that, auntie? <clears throat> Ooh, this is a, this is deep. <laughs> Ooh, but I feel like she should have told her mama about it. And then for her to want to keep seeing him after the fact, I just that's kind of weird, wrong. huh? I just think that's wrong. I know, right? I don't see how you could even go and face your mom after that, or let alone sit in the same room with both of them. Yeah, that's. I just, I just don't agree with that. So, so let me ask you this: Do you think you think this person is white or black? I mean, I hate to sound like that. I hate, I hate to, put, I hate to put it like that. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah, because this is usually at one point in time you could kind of tell what color the, you know, what race it was by the, by what was going on. But now it's it's kind of hard. Right, right. Because black people are doing the same thing white people are doing now. So that's it's right. That's hard. right kind of hard to say so 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 do you think she need to like seek help or therapy or something like that or whatever i mean definitely so, I, yes i do i really do sound because like she got sound like she got some kind of issue or something going yeah. on like she i think it kind of psyched her or put her in some kind of you know yeah. some kind of psychological uh standpoint or whatever i guess like whatever he did to her triggered her to be the way that she is yeah, and I yeah, I definitely think she needs to seek professional help because this is not normal. Man, this is crazy. When I read it, I said, I said, man, I don't know if somebody playing or if this is for real. <laughs> but if it's for real, somebody need to get some help. Yeah. Real quick. Yep. And then I don't, you know, 
and for, for her, her to say that the guys that she messed with and then they're not, I guess they're not satisfying her like he did since that was her first time and it's, it's probably going to be kind of hard on the next guy. Exactly. Because they're not going to be able to stand up to what, what she expecting. Yeah. I guess she just wants somebody to just come take it. That's that's what it sounds like to me. I mean, uh, I hate to say that, but that, that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. But he said, but, but, but let her say something about she want a guy that... That's, that, a, um, that's aggressive. Uh, uh, yeah, aggressive. So... So I guess when the guy, when the the, the 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 boyfriend, the mom's boyfriend was aggressive with her, she said she liked it. So I guess that's her thing. Yeah, so. that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> you ain't joking, boy. But all right, I had to call you on that one, Auntie. I had to call you. Okay. But I sure appreciate it, and I ain't gonna hold you because I know you busy and I know you got stuff to do. But we gonna talk about this later when I see you. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll talk at you later. All right. All right, bye.